Hi guys, how are you doing? Now uh, I just thought I'd do a bit of more video chatting. I watched a programme last night on Comic Relief um, with Lenny Henry. There's a few other celebrities in there who kind of went out to the third world and experienced living um, out in Africa. Uh, as we all already know, the, the state of affairs out there isn't, isn't the greatest. Um, there's a lot of illness, HIV, um, other diseases that are easily contractable, um, lots of starvation, uh, ridiculous amounts of poverty, uh, there's, there's women having to prostitute themselves, I mean I know that happens everywhere but there's, there's women having to prostitute themselves whilst raising like six kids, um, some of which have HIV, lots of the women have HIV, um, <laughs> The, the, the areas that they live in are, are nothing short of um, ridiculous really, um, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want anyone to live in that kind of environment. Um, there's kids, literally raising kids, I mean there was, a, there was a 16 year old guy who was like the head of a family of seven, um, of all children younger than him and you know at the end of the day he's, he's still a child. Um, and it was, it was, to be honest with you, um, I'm not usually easily moved but it, it seriously was a tearjerker um, and it just got me to thinking how I hear people here in the UK saying how messed up this country is, how there's an influx of foreigners and everyone's taking everyone's job and, and the government don't care and everyone's selfish and thinks of themselves and then I mean I by no means with the stretch of the imagination have had a, um, a luxurious life but at the end of the day I've always been comfortable I've always had a nice, safe, warm home over my head. I've always had food. I've always had, you know, water at the turn of a tap uh, and things like that that we take for granted. And, you know, it kind of sickens me when you see people, you know, crying and shouting because because someone hasn't got them a PlayStation 3 or, or, or the latest clothing brands. Uh, and we sit here on as high horses complaining like, like there's no tomorrow. And I, I just think as a nation, um, through greed in all honesty through the luxuries that we have had and that we have taken for granted that we've all just become completely so greedy that we now believe um, that a country like the UK is in such a state that everyone that that I speak to can't wait to get away but you know put them 10 minutes in um, in some of these slums and some of these places and uh, I'm sure they'd come come running back with open arms uh, and a lot of these people that, that moan about the state of affairs, you know, w what do they ever do about it? Um, they're probably not charitable to other nations outside of the UK. They're probably not charitable to people in the UK. They're just happy to sit on the fat backsides, moan about the government, and not really take any forwarding action, you know, to do anything about it. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people who are actively trying to improve this nation and do try and actively improve the world, but... I think the majority of moaners nowadays, you know, have no interest in doing anything about it. It's easy to moan, it's easy to, to, to pick out some negatives of a place, but why don't we focus on the positives that we have in this country? And whilst, instead of moaning about the negatives, why don't we be pro proactive um, as a nation and start doing something about it? And, you know, it just, watching that programme last night just really kind of put into, uh, into perspective how, how fortunate we really are and how grateful I am. Um, so if you didn't watch the show, it's, a, it's on every Thursday. Um, it's part of the Comic Relief Scheme. It's on BBC One, BBC One HD, if you, if you have Sky or Virgin HD television, or Freeview HD nowadays. Uh, everyone's going high definition. Um, check it out, but you know, don't just sit and watch it. You know, if it does move, you try to do something about it and donate. So yeah, that was a, a little rant from me this Friday afternoon. It's, uh, it's March, it's windy, it's cold, I'm moaning. See ya!